Hello, fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have such a powerful sky and it starts early, right around the fifth or sixth, depending on where you are on the planet. That is when the big activity takes place. So first we are going to have Mercury retrograde. And in the same sign as Mercury retrograde, we are also going to have a new moon. Now, this happens in a part of the sky for you that is particularly intense. It has to do with intensity and, and being more bravely and boldly honest with yourself, deciding where it is that you are ready to be part of some meaningful change in your life and in others. And it has to do with rebirth, whether it's a sense of a psychological rebirth, a spiritual rebirth, or a physical one as well. There is an inherent sense of transformation. And a part of this has to do with intense experiences that facilitate a catalyst moment, self-knowledge for you. This is big, inspired, meaningful, lasting, and deep change that is on offer now. This new moon will be happening hand in hand with Neptune magnifying the sense of magic, but also that sense of ungroundedness can be there if it were not for the fact that this new moon will also be speaking in harmony with Saturn. I think that's going to be that grounded energy. It's going to be that energy that allows us to take what is otherwise a, a brilliant feeling, a great idea, and actually ensure that it counts for something in the bigger picture, allowing us to manifest something that we can be proud of, something that has the potential to last for a very long time. And we also have a harmonious connection with Pluto as well, which says that there is that sense of a metamorphosis inherently part of this new moon. Now this part of the sky can also be connected to our understanding of wealth and redefining wealth in more spiritual terms is possible at this time. But I would also add that considering Mercury is retrograde in the same part of the sky and goes retrograde under the light of this new moon, it does suggest that it is possible some financial opportunity you thought was lost could come back around. It is possible that uh, whether it is a grant, a loan, a bursary, a scholarship, benefits you qualify for that you thought were done, that you thought you had your shot and it didn't go, you may actually get that other shot. Uh, you may actually get some good news as well, especially around this new moon. Now, because Mercury is retrograde in this part of the sky, uh, we would normally say, especially in this part of the sky, not to sign financial agreements. However, I'm going to repeat, if it is an opportunity that was there before and you thought was gone and comes back around in some meaningful way, well, that is where you do want to pay attention uh, because that is where the opportunity really is there to tap into some of the biggest and brightest blessings that this time has to offer. But it's not just about this. It's not just about this area of the sky that is lit up, but also the monumental move of Uranus. Uranus moving back into the very top of your sky. Now you got a little taste of this in the middle of last year. I made a whole special horoscope about this uh, and you can access that in the description below. But this is now the more permanent move. Well, as permanent as a movement of the planets is gonna get, it is gonna be under the light of this new moon on the same day as the new moon that Uranus will move back into this part of the sky and be there for the better part of the next seven years. So it's a nice long stay. It is going to redefine your definition of success and align it with something that feels like a truly authentic expression from within you and so much more. But I think what's interesting in the context of this month is that these two things are happening together. Uh, three things for that matter. Mercury retrograde, new moon in one part of the sky. Again, having to do with profound change and emotional wealth, spiritual wealth, and financial wealth. And 
this understanding of success and the goals that you have for your life and career, social standing, life purpose, uh, clarity of the path ahead being revealed to you, it is going to come part and parcel with uh, some external reminder that the resources you need are there, whether they're emotional resources, uh, people telling you you're on the right path, a genuine care uh, that shows up for you where you least expected it, and also the financial resources that you need can show up for you as part of affirming your renewed and changing sense of what it is that you are realizing that you are meant to do as part of a more authentic expression for your life. So it truly is an exciting time, but in some way the two go together, success and change. Your sense of opportunity, the big opportunities being revealed to you and the resources that you need to see them through. It is that much more of a meaningful time. As we move later into the month, the 21st of the month is the equinox. So happy equinox to everybody out there. We are also going to have a full moon under the light of the equinox and this full moon will be taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your siblings, cousins, and neighbors are highlighted here, your neighborhood, and also your power of communication, uh, your ability to make agreements and spontaneous conversations, synchronistic moments that you may have. Now, this full moon is carrying forward a theme that we have seen lately, which is full moon, which represents closure and culmination, uh, and things coming to fruition and an emotional truth being revealed at the very beginning of its sign. So inherent within the closure is the sense of a new beginning, a fresh chapter starting for you. And this can be a time when uh, this energy is felt a few ways. Uh, it can be a conversation that is part of what helps you to feel like you've begun again in some key way, a spontaneous synchronistic moment, being in the right place at the right time, meeting the right person, and it changes your perspective in meaningful ways that end up blessing many areas of your life. This can be a time of increased interest or contact with or spending more time with siblings, cousins, and neighbors, or you just may find yourself more involved in community, especially local neighborhood community activities at this time. You may find yourself more interested in learning and some information that you come across now becomes part of what feels as if you are having a fresh start in a deeply personal but meaningful way. And it could be at this time that as a result of some information being presented to you, you feel a sense of awakened curiosity that helps you to move towards building skills that matter to you. Now, where it comes to matters of love this month, I do think it is about that energy I mentioned with the new moon and the retrograde of Mercury. Um, because this is a part of the sky that has to do with trust. It has to do with intimacy as well. It has to do with emotional vulnerability. And you may find yourself with opportunities to actually experience profound self-honesty, uh, but also that sense of being changed as a result of sharing deeply could very much come about within moments of intimacy, emotional intimacy or physical intimacy at that. The thing that happens with this part of the sky is, you know, either you feel it or you don't. And if you feel it, it feels like a pull of fate and you become that much more intrigued. Now, this particular new moon does have a lot of dreamy quality to it. So you want to be mindful of that, which means that uh, whether or not this is meant to manifest into something bigger uh, and more with somebody that you may meet at this time, uh, that will be more fully revealed. Because Mercury is retrograde in this part of the sky at the same time, you will need to allow time for more to be revealed because all is not as it seems. But the other thing is, is that this can be a profoundly 
uh, emotional and healing time where it comes to any trust issues that may be there, whether with someone new or within an established bond. So if you are open to meeting someone new, what a powerful time to feel changed as a result of your interaction with another person. And chances are you will be feeling very drawn in a particular direction. This is ultimately part of you uh, feeling that sense of change and metamorphosis. It is about a catalyst moment that allows a more profound journey to take place for you. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, uh, this can be a time of reveal of truth. Because Mercury is retrograde in this part of the sky, it does suggest that there might be a part of you that already knows or already senses, or maybe intuitively, uh, perhaps in the ether, perhaps by rumor, uh, what it is that this person has to share with you. But this is where you get to some core truth about this person. But you may also get to have an experience with this person that feels as if it has healed some trust issues for you. And for those of you in an established bond, this can be a very meaningful time. Uh, it can be a time of profound honesty between the two of you. And yes, trust issues at this time can be brought to light and healed as well. I do feel that there is a, a deepening bond between the two of you that can emerge. And really, this is about faith. It's about having hope that great things are possible for the two of you. And it is that sense of idealism that is inherently a part of this time and of this new moon that tells me that there's this willingness now to go over old ground, to look again at what it is that maybe was swept under the rug before and what it is that really needs to come to light so that you're finally addressing it with your partner and understanding it so that the two of you can feel renewed and refreshed together. What I love about this month for you is that in addition to all this, I saved the best for last, and that is right out of the gate as we start this month, Venus will enter your opposite sign and will be there for almost the entire month. And this is a part of the sky that will help you to connect with people where you feel that there's genuine love there. It could be platonic love. It could be romantic love. It could be a love for a shared thing that the two of you are working on together. But there's going to be a sense of connecting and also reconnecting with others. And this is going to bring great blessings to you now. People are not only a great resource, but they're also a great source of joy and lightness and ease and fun and yes, love as well with a month like this. And it is people now who are going to make you aware of all the love, all the joy, all the ease, all the blessings that are on offer to you now and that have always been there. And it is love that can be the most profound healing force in the world. And it is a force that you will be intimately connected to now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.